Greetings, salutations, one and all. Let's open this bad girl up. Hello, everybody. Let me know when you're in the room. I got things to show you today. Do, 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 do. <clears throat> there is a few second delay. Hey, welcome, welcome, welcome. It is Wednesday. You know what that means? It's noontime hour here in Arizona. High noon, that means it is time for the catacombs here in the Sword Nation. When you guys step in the room, please introduce yourselves. I hope everyone's having a hell of a great day. It's an amazing day here at HQ. We've got a lot going on. We're getting ready for our Kickstarter launch here in uh, about 6.30 our time. So make sure you stay tuned. A lot of great reveals, a lot of great stuff. And uh, yeah, I think uh, we're gonna have a hell of a good time. Moonshine Mel's decorating the place, so I think you guys are definitely gonna think it is groovy. Ace, what's up, brother? How are you? How's life up in uh, Utah? Excellent, excellent. What else do we got? I get so many messages. Let me turn this up so uh, I can read your guys' comments as you're coming through. Thank you, Dakota. Dakota has just announced that the catacombs is up. Paul, how are you? Eric, happy Wednesday, happy Kickstarter day to you and everyone else. Ricola, oh hell yeah, I like Ricola. How are you, man? Paul, welcome to the show. Stephanie, how are you? It is great to see you. It's 66 degrees, ace. Um, don't take this personally. I don't like you right now. <laughs> It's like 90 some odd degrees here, and it is warm as all get out. So we're all running around like chickens with our heads cut off, making sure we have a hell of a launch party, and you are invited to be here with us. <laughs> Thank you, sir. All right, everybody, I'm gonna start things off, because we haven't done this yet, and it has become a tradition on this show. Not only is it a wonderful day because we are launching our La Muerta Primeval Kickstarter today, but it is also time for me to read off the list of beautiful names of the Swarm Club birthdays for the month of May. All right, so I have a long list. Let's see, how many, oh my God, I got almost three full pages of birthday. Joe Major, how are you doing, man? Are you having a great week? I love the smiley face too. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. <clears throat> so everyone, we want to make sure you have a very metal birthday this month of May. So, without further ado, these are the Swarm Club member birthdays for the month of May. <clears throat> Matthew Calhoun, Ken Hayat Shaw, Tim Lott, John Avaretti, Joey uh, Bursel, uh, Berselli, I probably said that wrong. Matthew Stapleton, Christopher Brooks, Alfred Sane, Jessica Baca, Jeffrey Lee, Ryan Quinn, Rand, uh, Rudolph Testa, John Anderson, uh, Jaime DeBell, or Jamie DeBell, uh, Daniel Ortiz, Stephen Wagner, uh, Lawrence Shiner, Doug Breen, Dan Ellingson, uh, Joanna Brzezinski, Brian Adams, uh, Brian Adams, <laughs> Joshua Voigt, Joseph A. Winder, Ray Sanchez, Brian Booth, Daryl Clazy, William Brown, Rick Shellhouse, James Schmidt, Ronald Miller, Bradley Craig, Kevin uh, Muke, Wayne Truman, Kirby Carpenter, Brandon Chance, Zoe Bergman, Jason Tucker, Steve Stephen Bates, Luke Burrows, Leslie Brock, Jerry Florence, Jason Schultz, Stephanie Bodney. Rob Jordan, Mike Gilmore, uh, Justice uh, Gonzalez, that is a kick-ass name, Daniel Solis, David, Richard, Ramos Figueroa, Marcos Rucolo, uh, William Tom, Alexander Klein, Jesse J, Steve Malone, uh, Malone uh, Damian Bragg, Stephen Sparks, David German, uh, Basil Steele, Christopher Scotella, uh, Grigali Coltai, uh, Christopher Ward, Dallas Lyons Jr., Christopher Cloud, Glenn McNamara, excuse me, uh, D. Nathan Karp, 
uh, Stephen Martinez, Dalton Young, Richard LeBeau, hi Richard, uh, John Harris, Paul Toyer, Thomas Foster, Dustin Poppins, hi Dustin, uh, Paul D. Wade, uh, Anthony DeLuco, Donovan March, Daniel Flores, Luke Chambers, David Padilla, Sean Turner, uh, Tomas Bondi, uh, Catherine uh, Heilenberg, Ronald Steven, and James Pack, uh, Pack, uh, Pangner. Happy birthday, everybody. I hope you have a beautiful month. I hope you have a great birthday with all your loved ones, families, and friends. And uh, like we said on Monday, Martin Esquire is our Sworn Club, uh, Club Member of the Month. He was at Atomic Comics, a local comic shop here, for a free comic book day. And uh, he said it was great to see Scott No, uh, Scott no there at uh, uh, Free Comic Book Day at Atomic Comics. He was representing Coffin Comics and the Sworn Nation, and he even brought out his swoon coin. Martin, thank you. I've known you for quite many years now, and um, thank you for joining us. It seems like you and I are destined to always be around each other forever, and I love that about uh, being a local comic book guy locally. All the great people I've spent 27 years of my life. Some of them are Sworn Club members. It's great. It's always great to see you guys at shows. All right, everybody. So again, tonight we are launching our Kickstarter. That's right. We will be launching today here at HQ La Muerta Number One Primeval Kickstarter Launch Party. That's right. Join Brian Bleo, Joe Gomez, Mike McLean, and myself, Jimmy, Brandy Sparkle, all of us of the Coffin Crew will be here to celebrate La Muerta live launch event at 6.30 p.m. Arizona time, which will be 6.30 Pacific, 7.30 Central, and 8.30 p.m. PM East Coast time. This is going to be amazing. Hang out with us. Join the fun. Join the shenanigans. You know what? Pour yourself a nice little beverage. It doesn't need to be alcoholic. It could be tea, a soda, whatever your beverage, your choice is. Come celebrate with us because it's a party and you are going to love what Mel has done here. I'm absolutely floored. It's going to be amazing. So that is, again, today uh, we launch the pre-launch party starts at 630 the Kickstarter launches at 7 p.m. Pacific, which is 10 p.m. Standard Time on the East Coast, 8 p.m. Central. Be here. It's going to be a blast. Joel's going to be here. It's going to be amazing. You know we always have fun because we know how to party and launch a Kickstarter. All right. Also, speaking of Kickstarters, the Lady Death the Chronic Genesis update. More bonus items are arrived. They're getting assembled. I absolutely love the new pet sworn pennant. This is absolutely amazing, and I love that we got a bottle opener. You know what? Everyone needs a bottle opener. And what's this? 666K or bus? Yeah, let's see if we can get Brian to eat a corn dog. Also, um, everybody keep an eye out. Thank you for posting all the pictures of all your uh, Hell Witch and Lady Death Wargasm Kickstarters. We definitely appreciate you guys posting all these pictures. Thank you very much for backing that campaign. Um, it was a lot of fun to do, and you know what? We owe it all to you guys, so thank you very much. Keep posting what you got. Do some videos of you opening that and seeing all the beautiful swag we have in those packages for you. Also, Coffin Comics, we are on YouTube. It's on Coffin TV. We have the following events coming up uh, on Friday the 13th. Join myself and Jimmy Coffin as we highlight some of our products at 3 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. So make sure you're there to check us out. It's going to be a really fun little videos we do on Friday just to let you know some of the great stuff we have here available at the Coffin Comic Shop. Also, coming up, we have a special Sworn Club online events in May. Here's what we got. We got Catching Up with the Muerta Series Illustrator. Joel Gomez, check that out over on our YouTube channel. Jimmy has been doing some great content over uh, YouTube. He's really made some great interviews. And also we have uh, the Catching Up With Brian stuff, Beers With Brian, all that great stuff. Also we have uh, a Beer With Brian on May 19th. That'll be 4 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, 4 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Central, 6 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. So there's a lot of great benefits to being a Sworn Club member. 
you get an hour early access to the exclusives we launch. General public has to wait till 10 a.m. You get to dip in an hour beforehand to scoop the, those additions. That is just one of the many perks of being a Swarm Club member. You get insider news before anyone else. You get early access to Coffin Comic Shop promotions. That's right, an hour before the general public. You heard that here. There is a special invite-only online events and announcements just for being a Swarm Club member. Special access to Swarm Club members-only comics and merchandise. So far, we have done the um, regular Swarm Fest year one, and we did a metallic edition, and they were absolutely beautiful. You've probably seen some of the posts on Facebook here on the Swarm Nation. Also, you get a one-time 10% discount on certain items offered at CoffinComicShop.com. And, and this is also coming up, you're automatically entered into our monthly prize drawing. Now, that should be coming up, I believe, this week, maybe next. You will have a chance to be winning that. What do we got here? Yes, there will be, Eric. <coughs> See what else do we have here? Hmm, excuse me. Roger Dodger, you're freaking amazing. Yes, Joel, thank you. Yeah, happy birthday to all the Swarm Club members. All right. So remember, tonight, the madness begins. Also on Coffin Comics TV, um, we have a video of Brian talking about Captain America. For those of you who uh, know Brian, Captain America is his character. That is like his all-time favorite character. Well, over on our YouTube channel, over on Coffee TV, uh, we did a really great video of Brian talking about Captain America, his collection, and what that character means to him. And I think you should really check it out. We got some great content on our YouTube channel. So show uh, Brian some love, and as he talks about his passion for the character of Captain America. Also, Sideshow Collectibles and Premium Collective Studios presents the Lady Death One Third Scale Statue. Um, there is pre-orders still available, so make sure you do so now. Um, Jimmy, if you could pop up the link for the Lady Death Statue so people can click on. It's Sideshow, so you know it's going to be a really stunning piece. And we also have... Um, on the newsletter pictures of it. So it's a really beautiful piece. Don't miss out on it. You know what to expect from very quality work over at Sideshow Studios. All right, and also we are still doing the um, Hell Witch 1 5th scale um, risque exclusive. Make sure you pre-order it now. That's available over at the coffincollectibles.com. So make sure you join us today. I also want to say thank you, everyone, for joining me. It has been a hoot. Now, without further ado, let's get on to the catacombs. Let me show you folks some of these beautiful additions I have pulled from the vault and beyond just for you. So let's get things off going right. Get a little stand here. Ooh -hoo -hoo. All right. Thank you, Jimmy. Appreciate it. Right here, we have going up for you. This is a Lady Death Retribution. This is a signed signature series, CGC 9.8. This is Naughty Bedroom Eyes Edition. Bam! Available for you today. Also, Chaos fans, I have two, the last of the Evil Ernie Necro 2 prints. These are signed by the artist. They are serial numbered down below. These are the last stocks I am offering here on the catacombs. Now these are from back in uh, 98, maybe 99. Uh, these are a really cool find. Uh, they were in a box of things to be destroyed. I found some more. These are the last of the Evil Ernie's as well as the last of the Purgatory. Now this is uh, signed by artist Romano uh, Molinar and Jerry Beck signed the Evil Ernie ones. Now these are in stock. What we have left is it. So once these editions sell out, they are no more. And it looks like most of the signatures that I'm seeing are from 2001. So these are from 2001, 21 years ago. Classic chaos prints 
for you today. Signed by the artist. Can you believe that? 21 years ago. Amazing. Time flies. All right, I got some more fun stuff for you. I got some Evil Ernie Glow in the Dark Chromium promo cards. These are all signed by Brian. This is promo card numero uno. We do have some packs of these left. If you're interested in picking up packs, here are the catacombs. We are almost sold out, so make sure if you are interested, scoop them up before they are gone, because they will not last at all. All right, let's get up some other beauties. I have here from the vault, this is the low number five, Lady Death Echoes, Lady Bat Blue by Marat Michaels, and this is a variant. Now the blue is slightly different than the other blues. I noticed there's a slight grayness to the number five edition as opposed to the other ones where they don't have that. I am sold out of those, so this is the last vault copy of the Lady Bat editions. Absolutely beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I love the homages. All right, mock-up time. This is the last presentation. This is the last copy of the Muerta Onslaught Reverence Edition by Colette Turner. Absolutely stunning piece. Uh, this was the edition that we did for the La Muerta Onslaught uh, campaign. This is the Reverence Mock-Up. So inside of these, these are pretty cool. Some people don't know what a mock-up is, but this is what we use for our videos uh, when we do Kickstarters or other promos. The interiors are blank. So I like to think it'd be great to get some pencil sketches in there, maybe put some sheets in to protect those. Someone say La Morta! Oh, oh, oh! What? Check it what? out! What? Oh my god! I have a special guest! Oh, come on in! Come on in! Yeah! Yeah, there he is! Hey! Are you ready? I guess so. I wasn't sure where I was until they took the, the handcuffs and the um, mask off. <laughs> uh, I'm we, glad it's here. You know what? It is good. We're glad you're here. I'm glad you guys just arrived, I believe, five, ten minutes ago. So you yeah, guys just got, got here. Just got here. So what are your plans? What do you think is going to happen with this Kickstarter launch? Oh, I don't know. I'm excited about it. I'm really looking forward to what everybody thinks of the new book. But more importantly, it's just fun to be able to come down here and hang out with you guys. Uh, the energy is great. Uh, it's just great to refuel going back to my cave and drawing all day. So. It's good to be able to interact with everybody, and hopefully you guys will be here later this evening for the big launch and all the festivities and everybody that's going to be here. So yeah, yeah. Looking forward to it. So I, I, because of this event, I actually threw in some La Muerta editions. So what? there's some La Muerta what? books on today's catacombs. Ah, nice. I'm hoping everyone noticed the little theme I had going on, but who knows? I don't know. People get crazy. <laughs> so I was just showing them the mock-up edition to the oh, reverence. That's a beautiful cover, man. And I was, that's beautiful. I was telling people one thing that's cool about these mock-ups is the interiors are blank. Right. And I always think it'd be great if people put sketches in it, so it's a unique sketchbook. Yeah, that's all a really cool one of a kind. Idea. So, um, yeah, guys, this is a great opportunity to get something very unique. We usually only offer two mock-up editions for every campaign. So once they're gone, that's it. So there's only two of these mock-up editions, and right now I believe this is my last one. Wow. It's a great cover. Too. It's, it's a awesome beautiful collection. cover. Awesome cover. So what are you? Um, can you reveal any secrets about this story, or what? You know what? What can you say to make people freak out on this Kickstarter? Uh, you know what? You'll see Maria Diaz La Muerta in in a way you've never seen her before. How's that? I like that you guys have her in a jungle setting instead that's, of an urban setting. I was like, oh, okay, let's mix yeah, this up. Yeah, I'm like, okay, that's kind of the neat thing. Brian and Mike, uh, Brian Pluto, and Mike McLean, uh, writers of the series, and they came up with this really cool script that really. It felt like a throwback to the old action adventure movies of the 80s and 90s. Nice. It's got a little bit of a predator, maybe some anaconda going on in there. So it's got a little tip of the hat to that stuff. So I really loved that aspect of it. And it was just nice to get out of the city for once. <laughs> just a good feeling. Just a good feeling. Now, as an artist, since you're used to doing all these urban settings yeah, in your yeah. art, was it a challenge to go to more of a jungle setting or a whole different type of setting than what you're used to drawing these characters in? I think, that, I th honestly, the aesthetic for that was fun just because um, there's so much more involved with perspective, uh, with buildings and structures and blocks and shapes. Uh, the only hang up I had about this particular chapter with, with regard to that was I had too few places to put people's names in. <laughs> I was mean, dropping people's names into the, the pages because it's part of the fun of getting, uh, you know, off of comics. You kind of integrate it into the books that we do. It's, personalized. You know? <laughs> um, and that was one thing that was a big challenge, just getting people's names somewhere, anywhere on a tree. Like, I was who the saying, hell would carve their name in that tree here? Like, 
But it happens. And you never you know. know. You, know. Jungle. you hey, never know, man. It's wild in that jungle. <laughs> Speaking of other beautiful arts, here is another Ooh, promo uh, mock-up I have. This is the Onslaught Prayers Edition. Oh, that's this awesome. is stunning. Absolutely stunning. I, I hope we can uh, reuse this image as like a hollow foil. It yeah, just really great. pops. I really like what you said, though, because honestly, with these, these are such awesome ideas for a collectible. You mm -hmm. take this to a show, and you have your favorite Coffin Comics artist at this show, they can literally draw a very nice sketch within one of these books that you retain as a collectible. It has its own special cover. Like, and I think it, it, that's what makes it even more unique. Because yeah. not only is there just two of each, it's like, okay, it's two of each, plus you got sketches in there. So yeah. just another fun idea. You show up to an artist's table, you either collect a big ball, or show up and you, oh, it's my personalized sketch, but you can draw right inside <laughs> this. It's like, whew. <laughs> nice. nice. You're always thinking outside of the box. Speaking of which, I got Ooh, some scratching wow. ends for you guys. Let's go with a signed copy of Cataclysmic Majesty, Ragnarok. That's right. That we Jesse have this right. Jesse Witchman, Ryan Light, Plato Scott signed it, so I'll make sure I bag and board. It's got some dings up here in the corner because, well, sometimes mail carriers aren't so nice. <laughs> the packaging that we all know, I've seen happens. a bunch of people talk about it, so yeah. yeah. So oh, here we go. Here's some more. Oh, I've got to get my finger oh, sensors whoa, right, in whoa. places. Okay, here we go with this is Hellwitch the Forsaken, risque, hot blooded sign, scratch and dent. What? That's right, scratch and dent, great value, great value. And it's not only that, what's great about these is you don't mind handing them out for people to read. Oh, can I look at that? Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah, scratch and dent. It's not in your mint copy, read it. Your reader copy. Oh, here we go. This, oh, is a, this is a stunning one. This is from yeah. the Muerta Ascension. This is the naughty edition, signed by Brian, and it is a scratch and dent. So it will you come, get bagged and boarded, get a COA on there. And what the hell is Brandy <laughs> doing in here? Whoa, Freaking whoa, is that? No, no, <laughs> no, no, Brandy, no. 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 <laughs> Let's go with some more. <laughs> yes, okay. No La Muerta fun. This is the Vengeance uh, Metallico Editions. Now, when you first started yeah. doing stuff for, when they came up to you and said, hey, we do metal books, okay. what were your thoughts? What, what went through your head? Metal was just starting out, so I, I had no real uh, idea of how that gets marketed. Because I, I was, at the time, as a freelance artist, I was doing a bunch of conventions. I had, like, metal prints, but I was, like, on the front of a book? Like, who's going to do that? <laughs> and I look at it, it's like the big craze. You know? Yeah, it's really, yeah, you see other people following, yeah. following the trends because, you know, and it's, everyone's got to copy the best. Extra layer to specialness to your book. Exactly, and I, that's the way I feel about with some of the sculpted ones that we've had. Oh, those, those are, are, those are nuts. nuts! Extra, that extra. is crazy. Ooh, and, and making those is also they're the first time I make them. Do that. I do it. It's nerve wracking. You do it. I, I made, you uh, made pretty much all the sculpted ones? and most of the metals. I'm now training uh, forklift. He's going to be taking over for me since I'm uh, now have an <clears throat> office job. <laughs> right, <laughs> but yeah. Anyways, it's it's they're a lot of fun, especially when you, when Brian first gives you something. He's like, I need you to make this. Oh wow! And it's like, that's cool. Figure it out. It? I, I have made them, and it is really uh, well, weird. By make, you mean put the, the I, cover I, I put together. The cover, I put it's the, Jason the, Fowers the, who actually he, makes the. He makes it. Uh, I assemble it. it. <laughs> so. Yes, I do make them. I do the assembling part of the job, I should say. Yeah. Uh, I'm just trying to make myself <laughs> super I'm out there sweating <laughs> in that damn sun. So, yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun, and it's neat because Brian would just be like, I got an idea. Can you do this? So I'm like, let's find out. Let's see. Hey, let's see. Let's see. So we've got some really cool stuff uh, coming your way yeah. with some experimenting. That's I think you're going to really get blown up uh, if we can pull this off some of the stuff we oh, got coming really? Out. Yeah, this it, guy, it, 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 Brian blew me away when he first told me about it. I'm like, holy crap, I can't believe we're doing this. So I'm excited. stay tuned, everybody. I'm You'll excited. see him. I just thought I'd tease you with that because you never it's know. A, somebody's new kid on the blog post who just fell off the wall over there? Well, Brandy, I don't know. I don't know weird She's moving it. <laughs> just, I don't know. I, don't even know. I, I, I try not to. Uh, I, I just bow my head with Brandy. <laughs> <laughs> I shall do that. All right, my final offering for you guys today in the catacombs. Ooh, that's I have a La Muerta Last Rites Chase Editions. All the copies I have left are red. Wow. So I'm Ooh, presenting red these chase. to you exactly how they will look. 
Um, I will put the From the Vault COA and sticker on these because these were the last ones that I didn't want to put up. Oh, let's put up six and someone buys three. It's like, oh, it's all the same one. So I figured, hey, hey you, never you, know. you never know. If you, you need know. a red, well, now's your chance because these are the last uh, of these Chase editions I have and they're all red and it's absolutely stunning. Beautiful. It's a great chance to get an extra color to use for trading with others. Because yeah. I see a lot of trading in our community. So that's everything I got for you here at the Catacombs. I got a great special guest today, Joe Gomez. Ah, thank you, great host. Thank you very much for joining me today. We'll see you guys in a few more hours. Yeah, we'll be fine. For our Kickstarter launch, it's gonna be freaking amazing. Be there. Yeah, tequila shots. Yeah! yeah. We're sworn to 